So then, we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage, so then we can understand the time of the end. As per Yerushiahu the prophet, we find layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Aurum Feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, we find in the 61st chapter, extremely important, because as the Messiah was reading the holy documents of Yerushiahu, he was speaking then of the completion of the Spring Feast, and then also he taught later regarding then the coming of the Autumn Feast. So then, let's start this program making a relation what is truth versus tradition. Very importantly these days, because so many countries, they are believing some sort of Savior. However, they don't understand. When the first holy city came out, there was then plans of many holy cities, and then they came through. So let's understand what goes on when a person speaks of Miltha. Miltha is a holy word of Hebrew, regarding then giving life, only to those who are obedient. When the last holy city was destroyed, the holy Miltha was stolen and distributed amongst those who simply do not deserve. But let's then understand this further. Because of the lack of sound thinking, the Greco and the Romans, they decided on their own translating then documents they had no clue what they were doing. Though later on came on then the Miltha, they did not know what to do with it, thus they scoundrelized themselves, as then Shali Akshau had said, firstly then Rome was known as being obedient, and then later on they scoundrelized themselves, and they used and they extended this false belief throughout the world. As we understand, the Catholic system is extremely dirty. They have many situations regarding sex with children, abuse, misuse of power. They have bordellos, and they claim themselves as being holy of some sort. So then, because of this situation, why can then these people maintain a clean system of their own? Simply because what they believe is a plain, blunt lie. That's why. So then, was truly the Savior placed on a crucifix at his death? No, it was invented. In no part of the holy instructions you find the Savior on a crucifix. You find him nailed to a pole. If you are ignorant, then you should study. If you are those who then hide behind ignorance because you think you can go with the flow, the problem is when you breathe your last, you go straight down. And there is no returning from there. The Messiah was very specific. He obeyed the holy instructions, and he was very aware of the instructions of Moses. Thus, during the time of Rome, this symbol they wore then in their combat shields, the symbol of the crucifix, and it is a pagan symbol. What the Romans then later on they tried to do they try to say they conquered the very Messiah. Imagine how stupid the situation is. Italy is bankrupt. The nations linked with their kind of belief systems, they are absolutely bankrupt. They are in crisis. And even the Pope himself is trying to change their instructions in including then gays and lesbians. Absolutely incredible. Now, the Savior himself was very specific as far as his sexual sins. Now, the Pope wants to include 
in their own instructions that they should be included and they should be regarded as part of God's plan. Not sure what got into his head, but understandably, he doesn't understand what it means a family from a husband and a wife. So then, because of this incredible and dirty system, then came out traditions. They don't understand when then the Savior was born. They can't understand revelation. They can't bear fruit. And nations believe in this kind of system, obviously they can't understand themselves. However, they think they can go with the flow. As there were thousands of people before, they went with the flow, at their last breath they went straight down. And part of this world's problem is, the enemy then in the world, they always, himself and his demonic spirits, they always thinking they have some sort of a plan of their own, other than what the Messiah taught. And because they have stolen the Holy Miltha, they can manipulate the people via then what they can get, gifts, And then they go with the flow. At the end, then they go straight down. That's why then there is a thousand years of deceit. When the Messiah was on the earth, he taught his people and then he ascended. Then there was persecution on the land. Then the first holy city was on the land of Cush as per the instructions of Yerushahu the prophet. From there, the seven cities of Asia Minor were straightened out, and then many cities throughout the world. But let's then evaluate when the last holy city was destroyed, then the holy Miltha only should be given to those who were then obviously linked with the holy cities, then was scoundrelized in the world. And then came a thousand years of deceit. Church is a deceit. When you breathe your last, if you are in the church, you don't understand tabernacling. You go straight down. You can stay with the church for 50, 60, 100 years. At your death, straight down. That's why then it was a thousand years of deceit. Trying to find a heaven based from man's reality of church. It doesn't exist. So then, what has the Messiah indicated as far as a shield, infernal? He was very specific. He said there is the first death and the second death. And he explained step by step what is this, what is the other, and what they should do if they would stay with their own desires. The Messiah never withheld riches and prosperity during his time. In fact, when he came back from the dead, the land was absolutely prospering. And we are on the verge of observing the world in a time of prosperity that we can ever dreamed of. There are a few situations going on, for instance, with China and the banking system and the E-Trade market. They are lining up themselves for the big launch. When it does take place, then this world is going to change. Prosperity for every person who wants riches. Now, the situation is, tabernacling then is also coming back. Because the world does not know how to handle riches without tabernacling. And these last thousand years of this city was a disaster. So then, what should we understand of tabernacling? Can people truly claim their church is going to save them? Because they won't. You can be a pastor for 50 years, 60 years. When you die, if you don't have the knowledge of tabernacling, you go straight down. The same as a prostitute or a drug addict. That's why the Messiah said the path of those who are then 
searching for life is not a very easy path. So then, as far as the world is concerned, China is leading as per the instructions of Daniel. Daniel the prophet, chapter 12, explains that knowledge shall increase. Understandably, the nation where he was at, he was during the time of Darius, what was then the most important point of this kingdom? Managing riches. That's how they developed. And Daniel was in the forefront, the top position of bringing in then prosperity. And when Daniel said, knowledge shall increase in the future regarding the time of the restoration period, we find these precise words of Daniel linked with Galah, chapter 1-8. Then the Messiah spoke, come out of them my people, so then you are not destroyed with these people. Then you are not destroyed with them. Explaining when the system of prosperity, as the Messiah was very aware of, because he spent a year with his people and it was extremely important, prosperous time. And the same anointing he spoke when he was in the earth regarding prosperity is the same anointing when he speaks in Galah chapter 1 8 during the restoration period. What was the desire of the disciples when he told the Messiah, are you going to restore Israel to us as it was during the time of Shimon? What was the desire of the people, the prosperity during the time of the kingship of Solomon? What did the Messiah do? He gave what they wanted. And during the time of the restoration period from the holy city, He's going to say, come out of them, my people, otherwise you're going to be burned with the others. Reflection. The Holy Instructions gives us many times understanding of reflection. It's got nothing to do with a polished piece of metal before entering the Holy of Holies or the Most Holy and then finding out sin in the priest's life. It's got nothing to do with it. It has to do with the Holy Instructions reflecting on what it was and then projecting in the future. Another topic. The Soviet Union is back. The Kingdom of the North as precisely Daniel prophesied. The Soviet Union is substituting United States as then the protector of trade. U.S. has to get used to it because it is taking place. Now, my nation is also United States. And quite honestly, I would never do anything to harm them. But an old saying in the United States was, they can handle the truth as long as the truth is told. So then they should prepare themselves for the retrieving of their forces at the very near future and giving them the forward motion for the Soviet Union. Thus then protecting the new system. Let's then evaluate what's going on in the world. As per the instructions of Daniel and Yerushiahu, since we understand that the Catholics, they are trying to include lesbians and gays in their own system, be my guest, but obviously they don't understand the times and the seasons, they don't even understand Revelation, how they can reveal what they understand of heaven, if they are absolutely, ah, never mind, it's a waste of time speaking of this system. So then, Let's understand what goes on then as far as the Soviet Union and understanding what they are doing. There's a very important news regarding then this topic in Moscow times regarding then the Soviets are then strengthening themselves in their air defenses with bases in Belarus and Central Asia. Extremely important. 
because the Soviets must become then the top protector of the new system. But let's verify what they are doing. The new air base in the Belarusian city of Babrusk will to expand the Soviets already strong air presence in Belarus. They already have then the Soviet Su-27 fighter jets, the Sukhois, very reliable as you can understand. Also, places then in Vietnam, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua. And the Soviets are going to spend a lot of money then adjusting themselves and then refurbishing the old bases that used to be during when the Soviets were then the main contenders for the world's leadership. This time, this leadership is going to be given. And the U.S. must understand they must retrieve. There is no way back because we find the instructions very clearly. So then, besides these, you find by 2020, 47 airfields, including Crimea in the Arctic, must be renovated under the state's armaments program. And then Bonarev was quoted as saying, by 2025, the Soviet Air Force will to have restored and reopened over a hundred military airfields, air bases. So we understand when we read then the 11th chapter of Daniel, when it speaks of the Netzer, Gentile Netzer explains then the socialist party of the 60s being restored and placed in its 100% top position. Then, let's verify what's going on with China. Some important news regarding this very powerful nation of this time. What can we gather from what is going on? Let's understand then the importance of infrastructure. As it was said many times before, China is investing very wisely in transportation, via sea, via air, via land, and China has dominated the market already. And China does not want U.S. interference. U.S. has the scoundrelized way of having from Catholic background and the system is bankrupt. People do not want to become bankrupt themselves. They want a system where they can prosper. And the U.S. can't provide a prosperous system because they are bankrupt. Now, you can have wishful thinking as much as you want. But then, consider this fact. Latin American countries are then obviously engaging themselves in refurbishment of their systems. And in many countries, this truly is very evident. Some countries are using 6.2% of their GDP for infrastructure. Where do we find these places? Brazil is a place. Venezuela is another place. Many countries of the South American hemisphere, they are then obviously joining up with the system. Argentina, for instance, they are building a hydroelectric power plant. You have places of the South American countries, such as Brazil, has a contractor of 11.2 giga of powered hydroelectric project. Guiana, also 165 mega. And then the prices and the investment as absolutely wonderful. Let's then consider what's going on with the China's money. They are then obviously implementing the RMB or then the yen, Chinese yen, as a trade and investment money. This truly not only explains then China investing 
but the system is becoming virtual. Now, if you do not want to have knowledge of computers because you're one of those kinds of person living in a cave state of mind where you can grab your paper money and store it under your pad, in the very near future, your beliefs are going to be shaken. Let's then understand what was said many times before. Many of my videos mentioned regarding the third step. The Chinese system is coming, the Chinese system is coming, the Chinese system is coming. Said this for more than a year. A couple of years. And I gave step by step formation of the system and it is coming through. Alibaba, the most important system of China, is already on top. And the Chinese, they are already given the straightforward motion for those people who are then opening up private banks only to deal with e-trade. So the knowledge has increased on purposes of trade, as Daniel prophesied. What do we understand of the new platforms that was then introduced a few days ago? China is coming up with a system where then they can have transportation via sea, air and land and customs clearance prior of leaving China. This truly is absolutely amazing because then the packages they don't get stuck in customs. Now what is this new platform then stands for? provides them services that goes straight from China directly to your home as it was then predicted before now we have then obviously the third step the investment let's then understand this factor not only China is involved with making these platforms as a way of infrastructure and facilitating the lives of people. But then China already has a service of investment in the system. The third step, it is already available. Now, it was said before, the Chinese system is coming, the Chinese system is coming, and the Chinese system is coming. The Brazilian government is already involved with the postal service and the Chinese platforms. Understandably very nice. Now, there is another situation going on because when a person purchases Chinese products with virtual money, how is then the government of Brazil going to charge for taxes? There is not a link yet with the Central Bank of Brazil. If a person purchases from overseas, it might be able to do it. But there is a, not a set percentage in rules regarding then purchasing with the foreign money. Now, if the Brazilian government is slow of thinking and they are hiding behind the printing machine as far as this money printing, then they're going to be very surprised in the near future and worse yet when lots of products are purchased with virtual money and they can't charge taxes yet the boxes must be delivered I explained before many times the only way of doing this is making a deal with the freighters and the freighters of the earth as we read then in Revelation why are they so important? When you read the Revelation, however, if you are from the Greco and the Romans, then you don't understand anyhow because you are lost. When you breathe your last, straight down. Now, you can embrace the money printing machine until it becomes nearly obsolete. Explained many times before, the only way of doing the system is then when the freighters, they print the label on a box 
they must have then the description of the product, the price, and instantly charging the taxes. And rerouted instantly via the net. However, they must have percentages. They must understand the virtual monetary systems of the world. And when a person comes in a specific country and they begin to invest, they begin to invest using foreign money via the same system, then it becomes a bit complicated. As they invest on products in China, then from the same line they receive. Now people are start understanding step by step because they can read. And if people try to hide behind ignorance, they won't be able to catch up later. Then you find yourself investing via the same system where you receive. You receive money, you send money and you invest via the same system, how then the central banks are going to get their dues? They must come up with a card, as it was explained before more than a year ago. They must come up with a card in percentages of transactions. Now when people then from, for instance, the Catholic background, they don't understand beans of these. They have no idea. It doesn't mean because of the virtue of their sincerity, the system then won't come. Or they are being antiquated in their own ways. And wrong ways, unfortunately. The world is changing. And E-Trade is then the most important system. Liking it, or not. Now you from a country where you don't speak English would encourage you very strongly speak and learn English. Because no nation in this planet can be isolated from the Chinese system. It's coming via computer. Governments they have computers mostly. And any person with knowledge can invest and receive from China, and if there is not a central bank linking with it, done via percentages, via a card, then the nation can't receive taxes. Because of the advent of the virtual monetary systems. For instance, in Brazil, Bitcoin is also famous. As we know, the inflation is growing rapidly in Brazil. However, this can be changed, obviously, with the serious government and investment. But buying Bitcoin is somewhat easy. And you can obviously take the money, the real, and then buy Bitcoin and hide it in a computer. It's protected from inflation. So then, what then the Messiah has explained was true. Chapter 1-8 of Gala, Revelation, explains. Come out of them, my people, so you won't be burned with them. The Messiah knew this because it was a reflection from when he was in the earth during his 12 months he taught his people. Next time I'm going to evaluate more what the Messiah taught us. Because we are not talking about a man be pan be savior of the Catholic system where he does not teach revelation. And worse yet, they think revelation was then recorded for the confusion of some people. That's how crazy these people are. Besides, they should take care of their own bordellos, where their own fathers of sorts, they have some fun with prostitutes of their own system. Besides, they are bankrupt. Shouldn't even talk of making, having sex with children. 
So then, next time we're going to place more focus on what the Messiah has said, the true Messiah has said. And then learn from him because he was speaking what was concerning the holy instructions and we should read the holy Torah. Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.